computer's dead. <laughs> Hi all, it's me, Jack. Currently 2.15am. I just got a notification that my computer parts are coming tomorrow. Uh, I'm gonna work from home tomorrow. Start early and finish early and gonna start building this. See you all then. My career has arrived. Yep, come in. Um, it's the airflow version, so it's P400 Air. It's a Fantex case, and I don't have a craft knife or anything like that, so I'll just use my flat screwdriver. So, this is the P400A, three RGB fans pre-installed in the front like that upper mesh kind of air filter here a dust filter it's quite basic it's not like a complex case or anything it's got your standard uh, USB 3.0 I think yeah 3 point something and it's got your standard audio jacks it's got like RGB settings, fan settings and power button reset. Power buttons up here, reset at the bottom. You can control the fan and the RGB at the bottom as well. The tempered glass at the side here so you can see the rig. Mine's going to be going into like this shelf so I'm not sure how useful this will be but it'll look nice with the RGB so we'll keep it. Wow. Using this box, I'll go to the second one. B450 Gaming X motherboard. Got your manual. Oh! Got your CD. Got the back panel plate, the middle plate. Got yourself two SATA cables. This is the motherboard, the Gigabyte Gaming X B450. It's on the cheaper side of the Ryzen supporting motherboards. I'm not overclocking it, I'm not doing anything crazy with it. So that's why I didn't go for the X series. So other than that, I would have went for the X570, but now the CPU. Ryzen 7 3700 X. So let's just put this away first. Got the actual Ryzen here, the CPU and the AMD sticker up here. And what's good about the AMD 3700X is that you get the, the cooler, CPU cooler. It's a stock cooler. It's very, very good. It's called the Wraith Prism, I believe. What was it? Not sure actually. I'm like getting out of touch with these naming conventions. Oh no! It comes with the CPU only for selected CPUs. I think for the previous generations the cooler was much smaller but now it's a lot bigger. It's quite a chunky bunch. That's 
pretty much it. Oh, oh no. Oh, no. Okay. Hmm. I'm done. Well, I normally prefer to apply the thermal paste right on the CPU after I put it into the MOBO. So I'm gonna exactly do that. Ugh. I'm shaking. Always remember to flip the CPU like that because when you come out, you don't wanna go towards the pin side. If any of these pins bend, oh, oh. If any of these pins bend, you're screwed. Like, not screwed screwed, but it's not good, right? So, I nearly dropped it. Whew. Let's just chuck it on top of there right now. Bring this back. So, how do you chuck your CPU onto your motherboard? Well, got this here. Right here, you'll see a triangle. Not sure if you can see that. So you see that triangle here? You match it to the triangle on the CPU. You can't see it, but it's like right in this corner here. So, before you do that, you need to open this. Okay, you open that. This is like a lock. You chuck in your CPU, give it a little wiggle, it should be in place. That's it. That's your CPU in. Now for the thermal paste. So I've kind of added my layer of thermal paste. Now I gotta chuck this on to here. So let me just set it up. The angle not might be great, but I don't have any better solution. The CPU fan pin is right there, so I'm gonna install it this way so I can plug it straight in like that instead of the other way around. So now let's do this. Whew. All right, and I lock it. Once that's it, that's your CPU cooler done. And you plug in your CPU fan. This is how it looks like once you install the motherboard. No, once you install the CPU onto the motherboard. Uh, let's get on with the rest. Wow, just a note, there's no right order of how you should build your PC. Um, Normally you would put the RAMs in first, but it's really a problem if the fan's too big. My fan's just the stock cooler, I think it should be fine. So let's get the RAM. So the RAM I got here is the Corsair Vengeance Pro. It's the RGB. It's 2,666 megahertz, and it's a 32 gig. So I didn't go for the 3200 megahertz just cause I'm cheap. And this was way too cheap for me. So I'm not gonna do anything crazy once again, so it should be fine for my needs. So let's open this up. Here we go. So the top part is RGB, I believe. I can remove the top. I don't know if it's this model, but let's put these on to the motherboard. Channel one and three, I've unclipped them. So let's put them in. So one at a time, that's one. SATA M.2 port SSD. Um, I believe it goes like here. Let's open it up. That's the future of hard drives pretty much. Nothing much, just a manual that. And this, people, is a one terabyte Samsung 860 Evo M.2. Bear with me. It's my first time, so I think I need to undo that first. I think I found the right one. 
not too tight but just so it doesn't come out wow now what I'm gonna do is chuck this into there so the motherboard should just kind of without screwing it in it should just snap onto these when you're trying to make a computer with one of these then the tight places it's kind of hard to get so make sure you have a long magnetic screwdriver so that's the USB 3.0 done and that's the front panel audio ports done so let me put the PSU first and we'll go from there and I'll just connect it to the motherboard and the CPU and all that good stuff cool actual PSU oh, comes in a little case like this bag I really like Evka products um, 650 is obvi obviously overkill but um, we're talking about efficiency here so 80 plus gold so should be pretty efficient cool let's put this into the case Wow, du, 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 du. graphics card 2070 Super. That's the Gigabyte OC Windforce. Yeah, shouldn't be too hard. Let's chuck it in. So it's in, so you just push it in like that. That's it. Cool, so it wiggles a bit. So this is why you need to just screw it back on just so it doesn't wiggle so now I've just oh no see this is why this is why magnetic screwdrivers help when you're building PCs because if you like drop screws you either have to like tip the case or you know stuff like that so make sure it's tight because if it's not, then it will wiggle and it might break the port. Normally, I'm, I'm very used to non-modular or semi-modular, but either way. Um, so there's two types of cables. There's a VGA cable that only has one 8-pin. And there's another cable that comes with two 8-pin. 6 plus 6 plus 2. Always use this one if your graphics card needs two ports. Mine takes a 8 and a 6 pin, so I need at least uh what is that? 14. So I'll definitely need these ones over these ones. So I'll put this back into the bag and get these installed. Oh man, I need to redo the cable management. Ah wow, I think I'm done. So I've got the graphics card, the CPU RAM got the um, the SSD right underneath the graphics card it's like right under there it'll be like on the motherboard I got all the wiring done so the wiring's not too bad like you can't see anything at the back I got extra um, SATA cables coming out at the back so I can put my external hard drive not external but internal hard drive but extra one yeah so let's turn this on I have a USB that has Windows installer so let's see how that goes wow there you go the screen These, this is really frictionless like it's really smooth. The mouse looks kind of eh, like it looks alright. It, it, it's very light. It's like I don't, 
I don't even know. It's like, this is very, very light. It's good for summer, at least, actually, because my hands get pretty um, sweaty in summer when I'm on the computer for to uh, so long, so, you know. Corsair MK70. looks pretty standard but you know once you put the RGB and stuff then it gets pretty pretty cool wow I got a basic setup on the cor in the corner of my room is it on oh whoops oh oh so that's the RAM RGB so move out of the way box oh 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 yes, yes, is it on? <laughs> Turn my monitor on, delete, buy your settings, buy your settings. Ooh, very nice, very quiet actually. Where's my, why is my monitor not turning on? My BIOS has been reset, okay. So I've gone into my BIOS. Oh, that looks so good. Alright, now I'm gonna plug my USB. Hey, this is actually pretty clean. Pretty clean build actually. Yeah. Don't you reckon guys? This is pretty clean. Like it's kinda dark, but it's pretty clean. Yeah. Even the back's actually not that bad, so. All right, let's get Windows. Wow, update. Computer's dead. <laughs> my PC can't detect my M.2 SSD. I don't know why, like, everything else works fine. I just can't get Windows installed just because the M.2 is the only one I have. Maybe I should try get a SSD in and see if that works and then I'll see how that goes hey it's done but uh, it doesn't recognize my M.2 SSD so I'm probably gonna test out something and if it still doesn't work, I'll probably just take it out and take it to PB Tech tomorrow and get it changed out or something anyways bye for now but uh, let me get some nice footage in the night time, you know, when it's all dark and it's got RGB everywhere, so stay tuned. Wow. Hello. So, just an update. Um, it's the next day, I think actually two days later, I've replaced my M.2 SSD. Now, this, the old one I had was probably like a bad batch or something like that so it was just dead so the motherboard I thought the motherboard was the problem but yeah got a new storage it was, works great I checked it at the PB Tech all good to go I'll mount the CPU put it back into the case and get windows on it on this new storage let's go My own world of make-believe Kids screaming in the cradles Profanities I see the world through ice covered in ink and bleach Cross out the ones who heard my cries and watched me weep I love everything Fire spreading all around my room my world's so bright, it's hard to breathe, but that's alright Hush
Cool. Yeah, very nice. So, I'm gonna finish this off now. Um, it's all good. Maybe I'll just turn off the lights and do some more camera shots and then, yeah, I'm just gonna continue installing my games and all my software and yeah, I didn't really have a good angle when I was building it, but hope you understand. Like, comment and subscribe to the channel. Um, I'm coming with more content next year. Well, soon hopefully as well, so don't miss out on that and I'll see you next time. Yeah.